Are you taking your kidney health for granted? Our kidneys play a crucial role in keeping our bodies in balance, but did you know that they can become damaged over time, leading to kidney disease? That's right, kidney disease affects millions of adults worldwide, and the risk factors are more common than you might think. But here's the good news, by making simple changes to your diet, you can protect your kidneys and improve their function. Today, we're diving deep into the world of renal health and uncovering six surprising foods that you should avoid or limit for better kidney health. So, if you're ready to take control of your kidney health and discover the secret to maintaining optimal kidney function, stay tuned. This information could be life-changing for you or someone you care about. Welcome to our channel, where we empower you with valuable knowledge to make informed decisions about your health. Don't let kidney disease take control. Let's take a proactive approach and give our kidneys the care they deserve. It's time to unlock the secrets to a healthier you. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of health-conscious individuals who are determined to prioritize their health. Now, let's dive into the six foods you need to avoid or limit for better kidney health. Get ready to be surprised. Number 1. Avocado While avocados are often praised for their numerous nutritional benefits, such as their heart-healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants, individuals with kidney disease may need to exercise caution when consuming them. This is due to the high potassium content found in avocados. On average, a medium-sized avocado can contain up to 690 milligrams of potassium. However, by adjusting the portion size to a quarter of an avocado, individuals with kidney disease can still incorporate this food into their diets while effectively managing their potassium intake. If you have been advised to monitor your potassium levels, it is recommended to restrict or avoid avocados, including guacamole, on a renal diet. It is important to note that individual dietary requirements and overall health goals may vary, so it is crucial to consider these factors when making decisions about your diet. Number 2. Potatoes and Sweet Potatoes Potatoes and sweet potatoes, both potassium-rich vegetables, are worth noting. A medium-sized baked potato contains 610 mg of potassium, while an average-sized baked sweet potato contains 541 mg. The good news is that there are methods to reduce the potassium content in these foods. Soaking or leaching can be employed to achieve this. By slicing the potatoes into small, thin pieces and boiling them for a minimum of 10 minutes, the potassium content can be reduced by approximately 50%. Additionally, soaking the potatoes in water for at least 4 hours before cooking has been found to further decrease their potassium levels. This process is commonly referred to as the potassium leaching or double cook process. It's crucial to recognize, however, that double cooking potatoes does not completely eliminate their potassium content. Even after double boiling, a significant amount of potassium may still remain. Therefore, practicing portion control remains the most effective approach for managing potassium levels. Number 3. Processed Meats Processed meats have a long-standing association with chronic diseases and are generally recognized as unhealthy due to their preservative content. These meats undergo various treatments such as curing, drying, salting, or canning. Examples of processed meats include hot dogs, bacon, pepperoni, jerky, and sausage. A notable characteristic of processed meats is their high salt content, primarily added to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. Consequently, if your diet consists of a significant amount of processed meats, it can be challenging to maintain a sodium intake below 2,300 mg per day. Furthermore, processed meats are also rich in protein. If you have been advised to monitor your protein consumption, it is crucial to restrict the intake of processed meats for this reason as well. Number 4. Canned Foods Canned foods, including soups, vegetables, and beans, are frequently chosen for their affordability and convenience. Nevertheless, it's important to note that most canned foods tend to have elevated sodium levels due to the addition of salt as a preservative for shelf life extension. As a result of their high sodium content, individuals with kidney disease are often advised to restrict or minimize their consumption of these foods. Opting for reduced salt or unsalted varieties is generally recommended. Moreover, draining and rinsing foods like beans and canned tuna can significantly significantly reduce sodium levels, ranging from 33% to 80%, depending on the specific product. Number 5. Dark Colored Soda Apart from the calories and sugar provided by soda, it also contains additives that contain phosphorus, with dark soda being particularly high in these additives. Food and beverage manufacturers often incorporate phosphorus during processing to enhance flavor, prolong shelf life, and prevent discoloration. The body absorbs this added phosphorus to a greater extent compared to naturally occurring phosphorus found in animal or plant sources. Unlike natural phosphorus, the additive form is not bound to proteins but exists in a salt form that is readily absorbed by the intestinal tract. 
While the presence of additive phosphorus is usually indicated on the product's ingredient list, food manufacturers are not obligated to specify the exact amount on food labels. According to the United States Department of Agriculture Food Database, a 12-ounce serving of soda contains approximately 33.5 milligrams of phosphorus. Therefore, it is advisable to avoid sodas, especially those with a darker hue, when following a renal diet. Number 6. Tomatoes Tomatoes, while a fruit high in potassium, may not align with kidney diet guidelines. They can be enjoyed raw or cooked and are commonly used to prepare sauces. Surprisingly, just a single cup of tomato sauce contains over 900 milligrams of potassium. Unfortunately, for individuals following a kidney diet, tomatoes frequently feature in various dishes. Selecting a lower potassium alternative depends greatly on personal preferences. However, substituting tomato sauce with roasted pepper sauce offers a similarly delightful flavor profile while providing less potassium per serving. When it comes to ready-to-eat snack foods such as pretzels, chips, and crackers, they often lack essential nutrients and tend to be high in salt content. Consuming these foods in quantities exceeding the recommended serving size often leads to unintentional excessive salt intake. Moreover, when chips are derived from potatoes, they contain substantial amounts of potassium. Lastly, it is crucial to be conscious of your fluid consumption when dealing with kidney issues. Excessive fluid intake can burden your kidneys and lead to swelling, elevated blood pressure, and other complications. It is advised to restrict your fluid intake to approximately 1.5 to 2 liters per day, ensuring you maintain a healthy balance. In summary, for individuals with compromised kidney function, it is crucial to pay close attention to your dietary choices. It is advisable to steer clear of or restrict the consumption of foods that are high in sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and protein. Additionally, being mindful of your fluid intake and adhering to the recommended daily limit is important. By implementing these dietary modifications, you can effectively safeguard your kidneys and enhance your overall well-being. Thank you for watching our video on 6 foods to avoid or limit for better kidney health. If you found this information helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content. Now, if you want to continue learning about kidney health, make sure to click on the next video, 10 Signs Your Kidneys Need Help. It's packed with surprising insights that will help you better understand your kidneys and their well-being. But before you go, we have a question for you, what is one food you were surprised to learn is not recommended for a renal diet? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember, by being mindful of your diet, you can take proactive steps to protect your kidneys and improve your overall health. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.